Hello dear friends, once again I would like to welcome all of you in my YouTube channel Eyes of Himalaya. Today I am going to educate you on Google Earth. Today's topic is how many file formats supported by the Google Earth. So let's start. If I will be talk about the Google Earth file formats, Google Earth support almost all the GIS different different file formats that is more than 25. To import these different file formats, you have to click on file open and here you will be find out this type of a tab here you can find out the 28 different file formats that is supported by the google earth first one is google earth's file format that is kml or kms z file second one is images google earth support all the file format that belongs to image such as .jpg, .bmf, .tiff, .png, .jpeg. So these are the image file formats. Another one is GPS. You can import all the GPS data directly into the Google Earth. And another one is a shape file that you can also import over here map info micro station virtual raster geotiff files erdas image and files that is dot img you can also import that images over here and uh, elvis raster map idrisi these are the some of the uh, well-known GIS file format that I discussed with you. And beside that, there is another file format that is a .text file format that you can also import over here. And most important is .csv that belongs to Excel file format. If you have a data in latitude, longitude, you can directly convert over here into the KML files. So that file format is known as .csv. So these are the small description of the different file formats. And I would also like to show another option that is the import. So by click over here, you can also find out the similar functions here that is available with the open file options format. So there is no difference in the file formats. So what happened in some of the cases, your import tool is not working. So in that case, you can also import the data from open option. So there is a two options or by direct track method, you can also import data over here. You can also import the data by drag and drop method just like that now you have to click yes existing template and now you can see the shape file you can assign the different colors that I have already explain in the another video i hope dear friends you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed please share this video and also don't forget to comment if you have any queries if you have any doubts see you soon till then bye bye take care